by loving Wordsworth, Keats, Shelley, and everybody. I had learned them in the Caribbean. I had made no distinction. British poetry, English poetry, was one of the finest poems in the world. But when I came here and got interested in politics and began to talk to English men who were not as committed to the English system as I was in literary matters, I began to lose my sense of what Wordsworth meant. Wordsworth declined, in my opinion. I still believe that he wrote magnificent poems, but what was wrong with Wordsworth, there was too much missing. And then I began to see in Keats and Shelley things that I hadn't seen and understood in the Caribbean. And that was my attitude to English literature, as I knew it in the Caribbean and as I knew it here. What kind of impact did uh, uh, the kind of literature that Nello is talking about have on you as a, as a, as a person going to school in the Caribbean and later on developing an interest in poetry? Never have any impact on me, Nell Linton. Didn't have any impact. As, uh, um, as a matter of fact, I tested a lot of, um, what is it, CLR, was wrote. Wordsworth. That's the pronunciation. Wordsworth. There's no pronunciation, and that's his name. That's his name. Well, I Wordsworth. hope I get the pronunciation of his name correct. And Shakespeare or Shakespeare. Shakespeare yes. Nobody in the Caribbean have I ever heard say Shakespeare. <laughs> Nobody. They said Shakespeare. They said Shakespeare. Yes. Well, I wasn't into Shakespeare, Nello. No, but you no. didn't go into Shakespeare, I want that clear. <laughs> Nobody ever told you about Shakespeare. Nobody. Ooh, as they say, no, 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 no. But to be honest, um, they didn't have any impact on me. Good, it, it, I understand that. You understand that? Yes. You see, from, from the standpoint that what happened was, well, I, I couldn't relate m uh, much to it because the, the, the symbols and the, the rhythms was out and the twing, the tongue twisting and, and all of that, and... I, For you, part of poetry, or poetry was part of the, the awakening of the Caribbean people, and that's what you all were making a contribution. It was not so with me. And you all had turned to the native speech, and it was a rejection of the English domination. Not so much the speech as such you rejected, if I may say so, but the English, the Rastafari people said, we are dominated by the English king, the English queen, the English language, the English Longfella, religion, every goddamn Roosevelt, thing is English, and Keith, we are against Shelley. it. So we have to write something that, 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 that is, that is, that is, that is, um, what, identify with I, our am own. Am I saying what is correct? Absolutely. Yeah, yes, and you yeah. all went to, and you did, you tackled the most fundamental part of a business. You tackled the language and created the dialect, which is part of the language, but your own use of it, which I think was splendid. Ita come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. I going go take you, I going go take you. I say ta come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. No care you take it, some of you regret it. You could have vexed till you blew, why I reveal it to you, that cut I, cut I, can call it a reality in two. Ita come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. He going go take you, he going go take you. So Maggie Thatcher, you better watch her. You going go meet your Waterloo, you can't stay there a screw. Why you subpoena you from the little fella called Nelson Mandela, who went to Namata, for you stop support the blood sucking eye, call apart eye. For it to come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. 
it going go take you, it going go take you. And if you're in a your man shanna get some passion, it going go bust out in the like a fusion. Bam, me to swell up in the ground and you can't hold it back. You have to subscribe to it, I feel it. And I bad around to no politician for him can bribe this one. It a come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. It going go take you, and I bother take it for joking as what happened to the Pope. It a come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. It going go take you, it going go take you. Some going go call it awareness, some going go celebrate it with firmness. Others going call it revolution, but I prefer liberation for the oppressed and the dispossessed. A full time, them get some rest. It a come, fire a go burn, blood a go run. It going go take you, it going go take you. Not only for I, but for you too.